Thank you. Um, Lindell, over to you. Thank you, Chair. Uh, and thank you for the presentation. So a couple couple quick questions. Some of them were already already mentioned. Um, so one of the things when I read the report uh, on the technology, what would have been beneficial for me, and I'm not sure if any other folks do the same way, would have been good to see some of uh, cited some of the research that has happened around body worn cameras. Um, and I know a little bit, there's a little bit talking here, but you know, even if you do a quick Google Scholar uh, search, there there are there's a lot of good resources um, that talk about body worn cameras and uh, some that are supportive and, and some that are, are not supportive. And, and when I think about the complexity that we're trying to deal with as a city, um, especially dealing with uh, race, uh, many of the, the reports um, and scholarly papers around that speak on the fact that body worn cameras don't actually deal with those issues that advocates and community members um, uh, are feeling when it comes to race. Uh, you know, some of the research even said that adding cameras just increases the, the perception of institutional racism because now you're creating more, more, uh, more surveillance on, on residents, especially those who are, uh, who are of color and are, are over, over monitored in general. So there are some concerns of, of this and that really stems from, for me, is the policy. And I, would be concerned to support this moving forward without really understanding what the policy is around. And now understanding, looking at the, the phases, we, we do, that will be part of, of the work going forward. Um, but I am more on the page of let's, whatever support we need to do for the department to, to develop the policies first, and then as a commission, understand what those policies are before we put the money in place to make the purchase. Um, so, you know, I would be more supportive of, of developing the policy first, um, then coming back to the commission um, for that for that discussion of, of do we want to do the implementation and are we comfortable with that? Because I understand once we, and I could be wrong, maybe you can correct me, when I look at the implementation, if we support this today, we support the purchasing. Um, and there's not a chance for us to say, wait a minute, these policies don't, don't and, and I think there would be some work with the commission. But I don't know if if we get to a point where where we don't agree with the policies as, as the policy uh, makers with uh, the board of police commission, what happens after that fact? So that's really um, my concern. Is I'd rather see us understand what the policies are and how that would work logistically um, before we support it. Uh, and I don't know if you have any comments on that. And the other thing that would would have been beneficial too is in the report, kind of talking about the research. Is you know when I look at the benefits. Um, most of them focus on the officer, uh, and uh, it would have been great to understand well what are the benefits, or even from the negative pieces for not just officers, but for residents and, and, and those who are, are interacting with police. Um, so, you know, those are some of the, the not just concerns, but um, my comments. And, and, and if, if you want to, if you want to follow up with any of that, I'd be happy to hear. And, and other than that, that's that's it for me. Yeah, thanks, uh, Commissioner, and through you, Chair. So just just on the data piece, um, the data is inconclusive across the board, as you mentioned, um, or at least the, the data that we've been subject to. You may have something that we don't have, uh, but the data is inconclusive. They haven't been in operation for a tremendous amount of time to be able to do the analysis and the review. Um, you know, there are some uh, little more in-depth studies coming out of the U.S. and places that have had them longer, uh, but certainly the Canadian experience is not there yet. Um, to your point of uh, preparing policy in advance of a decision by the board, uh, we could certainly uh, prepare a draft policy. We kind of uh, will need some uh, direction after today as whether you would prefer a pilot. Um, uh, the policy will be somewhat different, be very similar in regards to, um, you know, what we get and, and uh, you know, how we define uh, the operational piece of it. Um, you know, as I, as I mentioned um, earlier, uh, a number of uh, services who did have the pilot, um, they uh, continued on with the full implementation. There's others that didn't, obviously, out there. Um, so it's entirely uh, up to you. Um, the board has asked for us to bring the report forward. We have brought the report. Um, we're looking for guidance, uh, whichever way you see fit, and uh, we'll appreciate that uh, 
very much. Thank you. One thing I would just add, Lindell, just regarding the policy piece, it's a good time to remind um, the commissioners that we have a you know work plan that includes a policy review in conjunction with HRP um, that I think this would fit nicely with, but we don't have anybody that's come forward to take that on as a project. So I think, you know, I agree from a policy perspective, you know, whether we do that first or we make that contingent upon, you know, uh, going live, that there is a policy development piece that we need somebody, you know, as part of the board to work with HRP on that broader policy framework, because I think there's lots of work to be done on that. That would include the body worn video piece as well. So just that reminder out to commissioners. If someone does have that interest from a policy perspective, that is one item that we are certainly lagging on from a work plan perspective because no one's um, stepped up to lead that piece. Thanks, that's a good point. The other the other piece I think would be good to just talk a little bit more because I heard from folks also that, you know, speaking on the defunding conversation that how is, how is this uh, honoring that discussion um, but the, one of the pieces, too, is when you look at the, the resources, the staffing resources, I believe, and, and, and Chief, you can correct me wrong, these are civilian positions. So these wouldn't be folks who would be out on, on the, I guess, on, on the ground. These would be folks most likely in, in the offices doing, doing work, vetting, vetting the, the film, uh, doing, I don't know, all of all the things they would do. I'm not exactly sure other than reading to report what they'd be doing. So are there, are there any um, policing uh, uh, uniform additions to this or is it, is it just labor for, for civilians? So a, a couple things there through you, Chair, if I might. Uh, just in regard to uh, the policy issue, Commissioner, uh, you know, there are a, a number of policies that are in use and are, are publicly available um, to give a kind of broad base of, of how uh, cameras are deployed. Uh, we would obviously have to look at, you know, how they're deployed specifically uh, in HRM and then uh, specifically for the Halifax Regional Police. Uh, the other piece is uh, we are doing internally uh, a very uh, large deep dive into our policies and doing a refresh. Um, so, so that will go into the priority pile, obviously, with all of those. And uh, we will continue to uh, work through that if that is the will of the board. Just in regards to the piece around defunding and uh, is it part of the discussion? Um, it, it absolutely needs to be part of the discussion. I think it's part and parcel to it. The other piece is there is, uh, has been for some time now, uh, a very large ask of the community for accountability. And what does that accountability look like? And um, you know where, where does that come into play? Um, not only for the police, but also for the community. So that's another part of the discussion that I think is vital. Um, not only uh, with the community, but also uh, at the Board of Police Commission as well. So those are just um, a couple of the comments in relation to that. Uh, but I think it's all part of the, uh, the broader discussion that needs to take place. Thank you. And, and uh, we just got a screen. So I wonder uh, if, if maybe the clerk or someone can just say what, what's happening with our technology. So there are some visual streaming issues that are happening right now. So everyone is able to, is able to see hear the audio live, but we're not having any um, video at the moment. We're working on it. We're expecting it to be done quickly. Uh, the meeting is available audio-wise to everybody viewing publicly, however. Thank you. Did you have additional questions, Lindell? No, I'm good. If, if I have anything, I'll, I'll come back. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Um, Tony Thomas. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I just uh, want to thank Greg for the presentation. The only question I have, because a lot of the questions I had really were 